Welcome my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to select the correct cable size for a given load with a practical example. But before diving into the example, let's quickly review the steps in order. Step 1. Calculate the electrical load current. Step 2. Calculate the required circuit breaker current. Step 3. Determine the cable and its manufacturer, whether it is copper or aluminium. Step 4. Determine the derating factors. Step 5. Calculate the required cable current capacity. Step 6. Choose the cable cross-sectional area from the catalog. Step 7. Verify the voltage drop is within project limits based on the cable length. Now, let's start our practical example and apply these steps. In this example, the load is 75 horsepower. The voltage is 380 volts. The power factor is 0 0.8, and the connection is three-phase. Formulas Load current equals power divided by square root of 3 multiplied by voltage multiplied by power factor. However, note that power must be in watts or kilowatts. Since it is given in horsepower, we need to convert it. Conversion is horsepower equals 0 0.746 kilowatt. So, power in kilowatt equal 75 horsepower multiplied by 0 0.746 equals 55,950 kilowatts, which is approximately 55.95 kilowatts. Next, we calculate the load current. By applying the formula, we get load current equals 55,950 divided by square root of 3 multiplied by 380, multiplied by 0 0.8. The result is approximately 106.4 amperes. Now, we calculate the circuit breaker current. By applying the formula, we get circuit breaker current equals load current multiplied by safety factor. Assuming a safety factor of 1.25, then, Circuit breaker current equals 106.4 multiplied by 1.25. This equals 133 amperes. We choose the nearest standard size, which is 150 amperes. Next, we choose the cable type and manufacturer. In our example, we will select a four-core copper cable with XLPE over PVC insulation. We will use the El Suidi catalog to find the cable ratings and derating factors. But before we go to the catalog, there is an important point to understand. We calculate the cable current based on the circuit breaker current divided by the total derating factor. By applying the formula, we get cable current equals circuit breaker current divided by total derating factor. Since the derating factor is always less than 1, this means the cable current is always higher than the circuit breaker current. This makes sense because the circuit breaker must protect the cable. Therefore, the cable must carry a current higher than the breaker's rating. Now, let's open the catalog. We find the page for multi-core copper cables with XLPE over PVC insulation. We are selecting a four-core cable. If we only consider the breaker current of 150 amperes, the table shows a 25 square millimeter cable is enough. But we cannot select the cable only based on the breaker. We must consider the derating factors. These factors depend on the soil temperature, the burial depth, and the installation method. Let's get the derating factors one by one from the catalog tables. First, derating factor 1, which is ground temperature factor. For XLPE cables at 40 degrees Celsius soil temperature, the factor is 0 0.85.
Second derating factor 2, which is burial depth factor. For a burial depth of 80 centimeters, the factor is 0 0.97. Third derating factor 3, which is grouping factor. If we lay the cable alongside two other cables, with a spacing of 30 centimeters, the factor is 0 0.84. Now, let's calculate the total derating factor. By applying the formula, we get total derating factor equals factor 1 multiplied by factor 2 multiplied by factor 3. So, total derating factor equals 0 0.85 multiplied by 0 0.97 multiplied by 0 0.84. This equals approximately 0 0.693. Now we calculate the required cable current capacity. By applying the formula, we get cable current equals circuit breaker current divided by total derating factor. Cable current equals 150 divided by 0 0.693. This equals 216 amperes. Next, we select the cable from the catalog. We need a cable that carries 216 amperes or more when buried underground. We find that a 50 square millimeter copper cable carries 225 amperes. So the suitable cable is 4 cores, 50 square millimeters copper with XLPE over PVC insulation. Finally, we verify the voltage drop. From the catalog, the voltage drop for this cable is 0 0.764 millivolts per ampere per meter. We convert this and calculate. By applying the formula, we get voltage drop in volts equals drop per ampere multiplied by length multiplied by current divided by 1000. So. Voltage drop equals 0 0.764 multiplied by 216 multiplied by 100 divided by 1000. This gives 16.5 volts. Now, we calculate the voltage drop percentage. By applying the formula, we get voltage drop percentage equals voltage drop divided by source. Voltage multiplied by 100. So, voltage drop percentage equals 16.5 divided by 380 multiplied by 100. This equals approximately 4.35%. Since this is less than 5%, the cable is acceptable. But if the voltage drop was higher than 5%, we would choose the next cable size for example, 70 square millimeters, and repeat the calculation. In this video, we learned how to convert horsepower to kilowatts, calculate load and breaker currents, apply derating factors, select the cable size, and verify voltage drop requirements. We hope this helps you in your projects. Follow the channel for upcoming videos, especially about derating factors in detail.